everyone. Today is Friday the 14th. Unfortunately, it's not the 13th. Lucky day. Anyways, I thought I would play this demo example for you. After all, I am building a grime and trap dubstep EDM refill. So I'm thinking about uh, showing you how to make one of these uh, crazy synths. So here's a demo example. This is uh, a preview this is going to show off a preview of another synth that is coming with the pack, so enjoy! So that's the uh, synth. It's also known as ADSR. And it's really useful for uh, breakdowns and things like that. So let's get to making it. So I'm going to create a new document with Reason. By the way, I use Reason 6.5. I do use a rack extension. It's soft tube saturation. But it's a free download from the Propeller Heads website. I'll be able to post the link down below after this is done. So right off the bat, what I love to do is create a combinator. So I go to Utilities and Combinator. Uh, we're going to create a blank Maelstrom. So go to Instruments, Maelstrom. And so inside Maelstrom, what we're going to do is show Programmer and make sure Maelstrom is selected. For Rotary 1, we want to, let's see, yeah, for Rotary, Rotary 1, we want an oscillator B index. And we're going to change this to be 53, to be 57 for the max. So 53 for the minimum and 53, 57 for the max. For Rotary 2, we're going to choose index A. So go to oscillator, A index. And we're going to choose 13, uh, actually 12, and then 18 for the max. Okay, once we have that, for button 1, we're going to choose make sure we're still on our maelstrom, we're going to choose oscillator B motion. Oscillator B motion. And we're going to take this to negative 64 and 7 for the max. Positive 7. For button 2, we want this to route to A shaper. So, let's see, where is the routing? I think it's a miscellaneous. It's the last one. Route, second to last one, route oscillator A to shaper. And that should be good for now. So, what I like to do is tackle the Maelstrom now that we have the programmer. But uh, let's go through naming them, actually. So, for Rotary 1, we'll call this uh, Opener. And for Rotary 2, we'll call this Mouth Change. Uh, for button 1, we'll call this mod for opener. For button 2, we'll call mouth distortion. Okay, so now that we have our programmer, we can start programming our synth in. So, I like to go over to the mod wheel. And what I love to do is turn up the filter all the way to the max, so 63. For that, uh, don't mess with any of the range, that's all good. Uh, oscillator A, we're going to change this to throat, that's in voice. We're going to take the attack all the way to 75, the decay all the way up, and the release, we're going to take that to 21. Then after this, we're going to turn up an octave, take the motion all the way down, 
And that should do it for that set. Um, for oscillator B, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to change it to vocoder swirl. Should be in voice. No, it's in synth. Huh. Anyways, we're going to take the motion all the way down. Boost it an octave, so octave 5. Take the decay all the way up, the attack maybe 44, and the release to 37. And make sure this button, filter B, to shaper is on. Make sure shaper is on. And we're going to turn sine wave amount 127. That's good. We don't need to mess with anything else. So we're in the right ballpark. Uh, the opener is what you hear if you work with uh, Maelstrom. That's actually what you hear when you start uh, moving the pulse width of the synth. Anyways, after this we're going to create a line 6 bass amp. But in between this, we're going to create a Studio RV7000 Advanced Reverb. Take the dry wet to about 10. The decay to 36, and that should be good. After this, after this, we're gonna choose some distortion. So go to the Studio Effects and choose Foldback Distortion. The amount we want to be 26, and the Foldback Distortion we want to be 16. After this, we're gonna create a envelope control filter. We're going to boost the frequency all the way up, take the resonance to 51. And let's see, take the attack to about 24. The decay to 72. Sustain, we'll take this about 42. And the release to 70. After this, we're going to plug in a rack extension. After the envelope, we're going to turn it on high and we're going to take this all the way to 3.3 after this we're going to create some screen for distortion found in creative effects we're going to take the damage to 40 we're going to take the type to tube and we're going to turn p1 all the way up and p2 we're going to make this 40 we're going to turn on the body leave the resonance where it is take the scale actually leave that where it is as well, take the auto to 48 and turn it to type C. After this, we're going to create a line 6 base amp. Turn it on. Create an M class equalizer. Turn on low cut, parameter 1, parameter 2, and a high shelf. For parameter 1, we're going to take this down to 100 hertz. Gain down, Q all the way up. For parameter 2, take this about 3.829 kilohertz. Gain down, Q all the way up. Take this high shelf to 3000 kilohertz, boost it about 2.3, and take the Q to 2. After this, I'm going to create a M class maximizer. Turn on soft click, take off limiter, put release to slow, and take the amount of the soft clip all the way to 127. <laughs> There you go, you have your ASDR synth. Now, let's say you want a little bit more throaty sound, then turn up the foldback distortion and make sure that your throat <laughs> is uh, programmed right. Like uh, rotary 2, 18, that should be fine. Okay. <laughs> And there you guys have it. See you guys tomorrow for, uh, well actually I'll see you guys Monday for a different production. I'm going to see if it's better to put all my effort in one video a week or to do it every day. Anyways, um, this took me a while to create and I hope you appreciate it. Cheers everyone.